Hey guys, in this video we're going to be making a superconductor ring. You've probably already seen it, but in case you missed it, we made a video with the WaterJet channel. You can check that out here. Um, basically, we just took a piece of superconductor over to them, and then we had them cut it. This is the piece, or one of the pieces we had cut off, and so that just gave us a ring blank. So that just makes it easier for us to turn it into a ring. We start off with just this basic disc shape, and then we're gonna go to a donut. We're gonna cut a hole right in the middle, and then just do the final steps to make it an actual ring shape. So we're gonna do most of the work over on the lathe. That'll be all the shaping and everything, but then we're going to put it in acid, and this is ferric chloride. It's used to etch PCB boards, um, and it just gets rid of the copper and so that's gonna be perfect for us. And the key thing here is that it will dissolve the copper in the superconductor, but it won't actually dissolve the, the real superconductor material. So I'll just kind of explain that. This is titanium niobium. That's the actual superconductor, the gray material you see. And then there's just copper encasing it. So that's the only reason it's there. And so we're gonna dissolve some of that and that should hopefully leave some of the titanium niobium rods exposed and just kind of make it look a little bit cooler. And then the final thing we'll do is just throw it over in my rock tumbler and that will just give it a nice even brushed kind of sandblasted finish onto it. So now we'll just jump over to the lathe. We'll take care of all the shaping and everything we need to do there. And then we'll just do the etching and then the tumbling and then I'll check back in with you. Inside lane, missing exits, include to the pavement between the lines. I keep my gate straight ahead as the last stop flies by. No more waiting for the gun to fire, no more walking through revolving doors. I've gone around.
So here the ring is finished. I set up just an example of all the steps we took. So we started off with the rod, then we had the water jet guys cut us these little cookie shaped discs, and then we cut the hole in the middle and then finished shaping it and then did all those finishing steps like etching it and doing the uh, rock tumbler. So I think the ring turned out great. Uh, the etching we did to it was kind of an extra step we did that I think really adds to the final effect. It helps kind of expose the superconductor a little bit better just to make it a little bit more interesting. So that's it for this video guys. The last time I did a collaboration with the Waterjet channel, we gave away one of those meteorite rings and you guys seem to really love that. And so we're deciding to do another giveaway on this one. We're gonna do a superconductor ring obviously this time. So there'll be a link below to the giveaway. You just need to click on that. There'll be a bunch of different ways you can enter so you can have a better chance at winning. Um, and then you can check out anything below. I've got my Instagram link down there. That's somewhere where I post a ton of my just straight up ring content. So if you really like the rings, you can go see just an in-depth look at everything I'm doing there. There's also a link to my website down below. And if you want a discount code, you can go check out the Waterjet channels video we did with them. They'll have a secret coupon code for all of their viewers. That'll be in the description of their video. So check that out. And thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.